Logan, welcome to me doing a reaction thing to Itaun Zito. Today's episode 23. Uh, man, I really love uh, how the episode ended uh, previously uh, with Cheeky uh, confronting uh, Madame Perinai, whatever her name was. And, and I like what's happening with Hamra. Not that I like what she's going through, you know, I don't, I don't agree with that. But I mean, I just, I like the character um development that's happening there I, I like the fact that we're actually seeing her grief versus ignoring that you should never ignore a character's emotions regardless uh whether it's happy or sad like let us see it let us experience it because then we can value that character when they rise up or when they fail you know because that embodies um art form of entertainment is to be able to relate to these characters of course, we can't go to sci-fi and have cool powers, but we can uh, relate with their emotions. And I really, really like Hamaran out of out of all the characters. You know, I, I a few episodes ago, I was thinking, why is she even here? She has no character. She just showed up out of nowhere and she started tagging along. But now, I absolutely like her character, and I can't wait to see more of her evolution. Also, the biggest question mark is, how the hell are they gonna bring back Vakri? I, I maybe. You know, I just had an idea. Maybe through all the stones that Madame Karenai has been collecting, maybe they can use that energy or whatever, and then they bring it back with friendship power. Yay! Maybe. I don't know. So let's find out. All right, here we go. I mean, I would say don't hit a girl, but Chiki, um, punch her. <laughs> Oh, sick. Oh, eight piece combo there. Yo, is he really trying to hit her? No, he did not. Well, that's not fair. You're no jumping in. <laughs> it's a fair one. Whoa. Yo, how strong is this lady? If she's not ready to fight, at least not yet. She's gonna turn that sadness into anger soon. But, you know. Don't force it out of her. Of the weird eyeball thing. Oh, it's been hacked? <laughs> I would assume Steiner, maybe? She's got a mecha! <laughs> Whoa. This reminds me of like the Oh, I forget what it's called, the, the little robot, not even a little robot, but Scarlet Chick, whatever, from Final Fantasy 7, and she has a robot, or Mecha, whatever. It's almost identical to it, only, only this one has nipples.
This is a night gear, huh? <laughs> wow, right. Her EMP can easily help this out right now, I think, right? I'm not sure. I got guns. <laughs> Never look at the explosion. <laughs> the Oxmon is the low lion guy. Oh. Uh. Oh, Steiner. What the hell is that? My name is Arsenal. <laughs> See, that's not. I how am I supposed to know that's that's Weiss? They recognize his voice. I don't recognize his voice. It's the whole point of what I mean. I don't. I don't recognize his voices. They all. I don't want to say they all sound the same, but they do. Why do you keep saying his name? Just call him Arsenal. He's. Just, Look at Lord! <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's against the rule to attack me during a speech. It really is. That's pretty cool. Whoa, he's quick. See, the only thing I don't like about the character is the fact that Arsenal is the name of Speedy, I believe. Uh, <laughs> it's Green Arrow Psychic, who eventually becomes his own thing. You know, like like Robin becomes Nightwing, Speedy becomes Arsenal. I think. I don't. I don't remember, but I think it's like that. The name's taken. Use something else. Holy shit. And I'm loving the music, by the way. Holy crap, talking about, uh... Talking about, a uh, fist. Metallica explosion? Okay. Maybe he should have called himself Sandman. And then when he punches, he says, enter Sandman. No, no, no. <laughs> Is he naked? <laughs> wow. 
Wow, yet another really good episode. And this one, definitely very action-packed. Um, I feel like now we're just... I don't want to call it dilly-dallying, but we're you know, elongating these episodes. Because the season's almost over. I think there's only going to be 25 episodes. So, I think there's, what, two more episodes to go. And that's it for Eden Zero Season 1. Um, so, it's cool to see even more the evolution of Weiss. Uh, where now he has this exoskeleton slash Iron Man slash kind of like Batman suit. Um, now he's recruiting himself Arsenal. He is a hero of the peoples. Uh, that's pretty cool, I guess. I didn't really see that out of him because he's such a perv and he's also kind of like reluctant most of the time with the squad. But I guess that's going to be his thing. Another thing that I can highlight in today's episode is Rebecca as well, where the show is highlighting her pretty goddamn well compared to Fairy Tail versus like, you know, we, we spent so many episodes with Lucy and we're supposed to like take her seriously as far as her abilities go, but she never really ever feels like she can do anything on her own. It's always through someone else. Uh, she's always in danger if someone rescues her, you know, or like when her abilities are completely depleted, you know, and plot armor shows up. Versus here, uh, Rebecca is shining so well. She can do things on her own. She doesn't have to wait for Cheeky or the others to come in and save the day for her. So that's a very good highlight. Again, very impressed with Hino Mashima. He's doing everything, or should I say, he's doing the opposite of everything I hated. In fairy tale, and he's doing such a good job in Eden Zero. That's like two huge thumbs up, two little like little gripes that I had with fairy tale that I feel like that show could have been great. He's doing a great job with Eden Zero, so yeah, just pointing those little moments out. Also, I like sort of kind of like the flaw in Cheeky today's episode, where like I wonder if this will ever come into play in future episodes. Where look how gung ho he is. Where he rushes uh, rushes into uh, a fight, a battle, alone, with no strategy, no thought process. You know, he's, boom, he goes and attacks Adam Coronite. And then he's bombarded by, you know, a shitload of enemies. Now, there's two things we can look at that. It's like, I really hope that this can come into play in future episodes where Cheeky needs to understand. Dude, be a team player. Um, you don't have to do everything alone. And, and a part of me also kind of sees the character in a way or his own character development because again, he was an orphan. He had no one, you know, and now he does. He finally has friends, so he's fighting for something. But he doesn't have strategy. He doesn't have any of those things. So that's why he's always making these bad mistakes. But I wonder if he will ever evolve uh, from those mistakes, you know. Alright, that about does it for my video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.